and add a little bit here because I'm the only one that have this supplement, but I want to explain why. In the 1980s, 1990s, and 2000s, the research based on lactoferrin has taken a whole new way. Lactoferrin is a specific protein that comes from breast milk, okay? And they have shown to prevent visceral fat gain. Actually, Scott has some slides that are pretty cool on how not even changing diet, not even doing anything, but just taking lactoferrin, a certain amount of grams or milligrams will prevent visceral fat gain. And I, and I don't know if Scott, Scott, do you mind showing up the slides? They're on my screen, yeah. Can you ask him, can you see them? Can you see the slides on the screen right now, Travis, or not? Yeah, we can see the slides. Okay, so there's Scott who's gonna go through them, but basically what it shows is how lactoferrin reduces visceral fat. Okay, now, did I discover this? No, I just said on my patients by accident. What I did was, I bought a bunch of lactoferrin, and by the way, lactoferrin, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, one kilogram of lactoferrin is about uh, $800 to $1,600. That's tell you how, how, how heavy or how heavily priced it is and how good it is. Now, does lactoferrin work as a protein source? Like, oh, I, I, I absorb it, I break it into amino acids. Absolutely no. What it does is it just has some kind of hormonal signal in the body and allows you to lose weight. In the study that you see on the screen, it shows how lactoferrin reduces visceral fat. And this was a, actually what I think considered a short study, only eight weeks, but it, the people did not change the diet, they didn't change exercise. That's what was impressive about it, and it showed how they lost weight, okay? Now, how much, okay? Well, lactoferrin works, but if you combine it with something else like ATP, and this is recent, we have done research with ATP, and ATP used to be say, oh, you take, if you take arginine, you take glycine, and you mix it, and, and then you can create ATP like you're supposed to. Well, no, it has to be true ATP. I mean, the molecule ATP, and it, it is absorbed through your intestines, and it absolutely works. Well, ATP also have their own research showing how not only increases strength, but also it helps you lose fat, okay? So I said, okay, what can we do what can we do to combine something that would allow you not only your strength to go up, but lose weight, okay? And I say, okay, I'm gonna do a combination. I wanna find the dosages, what it works better, when does it work better, but I'm gonna add something else to it because I said, okay, it works good, it shows reduction without exercise, without doing nothing, but I wanna add something else that would make a big difference. So I added something called glycine, okay? And glycine is an amino acid that actually almost acts like a sugar, but it's not a sugar, okay? And this amino acid has different effects. And most people say, oh, glycine doesn't do anything. No, what it does is kind of, it brings a relaxation to your body. It allows your cortisol levels to go down, so it allows you, you to lose fat when you combine this. And I, Scott calls it GCX, and I see, People should try it, and this is one of the few supplements that actually you can take. Actually, if you guys want to do it, you guys can do this experiment. You buy, you take six tablets an hour before you're going to work out, okay? And what I want you to do is this test. I'm going to take my best incline dumbbell press or my best squat, whatever exercise you pick, and I'm going to say, I'm going to do, today I'm going to do 10 reps or whatever my goal is. I'm usually, okay, I'm going to use 100 pound dumbbell presses. I'm going to do 12 reps, right? And then you do your 12 reps, you do your next set, whatever time, you wait two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, and I'm gonna do 10 more again, and then you can. Well, next week, you take your ATP, your GCX, and then you do the same amount of work, and I wanna see how many reps you're gonna do. You're actually gonna see a big difference. The cool thing about this supplement is that you see a loss on your body, on your body fat, inside your belly. Not the subcutaneous fat, but inside your belly. You lose visceral fat. That's actually been proven by research and Scott can provide that for you if you wish to. Now, another supplement that I, I would recommend are anti-cortisol, okay? Why anti-cortisol? Because I see too many people stress high levels of cortisol. The best one and the one is on the market is phosphatidylserine, okay? And that is, a, that is a supplement that lowers cortisol. Doctors use it between 600 and 400 milligrams. I have it on a supplement called Fat Reduce if you want to use it. Also, the lack of vitamin D, 
on people that are outside for only 10, 20 minutes because they work all the time inside. Vitamin D has shown to induce weight loss. Also, magnesium combination with calcium has to also shown if you're deficient to lose weight. So in my clients, to actually see if they're losing weight, I want to look at all the weaknesses. Or all the weaknesses of that client, but I will say this. If you want to say, I want three supplements that will allow me to lose weight. Fats, protein supplements specifically, free for aminos, so you don't have to worry about allergies or whatever, easily digested, and GCX, because it works awesome. Now, I have my own line of weight loss supplements, but you asked me about the three top. Now, when I have a patient and I know what they're doing and I know exactly what they're taking and how they're eating, how they're sleeping, then I might have fat reduced later because they might need help to sleep. For example, melatonin, I don't know if you know this, Travis, on a person that can't sleep, okay, if you're sleeping four hours or less, I want you to listen to this, Travis, if you sleep four hours or less, <clears throat> it is very, very hard for the client to lose fat weight. They might lose weight, but it's very, very hard to lose fat weight. So you want to make sure that that client is having something that will allow him to sleep. And melatonin is absolutely very important. And actually, glycine at two grams at night allows you to increase your GABA levels, allows you to relax. So all those things combined. I hope that answered your question there about 